Ready? Yeah. We're going to show you how to fix a Land Rover Defender wiper blade system. The worm gear's probably stripped. <laughs> I don't want to say. So today we're going to show you how to fix a Land Rover Defender wiper blade system. It's probably the worm gear inside the spindles. Now this is a very common issue on all Defenders, but today we have a 2011 Puma 110. And it's quite common on Pumas, they're sort of coming more and more for this issue where, you know, you've got, well, completely no vision through the driver's side. So guys, we're going to show you exactly how to fix this today. We have already ordered the parts for this because I believe we know what we're going to find. However, you can always be surprised by these vehicles. Gone ahead and ordered two new wiper blades, two new spindles, and obviously this is specific to a Defender 110 2010 onwards. And this is the worm gear at the back and a new cable as well just to make sure because they can often the grease can solidify and i mean they're pretty cost effective so we just put a whole new system in and then it's done once and for all for another 11 years or so so we're going to jump in and the first thing to do on one of these is to remove the dashboard it might seem a little bit daunting and it is i suppose but uh, it's really not all that difficult it's fairly straightforward uh, we're going to jump in switch the wipers off pull the wiper arms off steering wheel off dashboard off and uh, see what we find so guys, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. I don't know what about though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it in. Okay, so let's um, put it on time lapse. We'll disassemble the front. And steering wheel off. So guys, that was pretty quick to tear this down. Uh, it had a standard radio, but someone had wired it. Um, it's not really good to be honest. So we'll probably resold all of these connections just to make sure that you know it doesn't look like this sort of spaghetti. Um, you have to take off the heater panel. So you've got those four bolts there. You've got three large T30s at the top, just up here. You've got to take the binnacle out, uh, the, speed, the speedometer. Um, you do have to disconnect the tweeters if they do have tweeters. Um, so you can sort of do that when the dash is dropped slightly forwards. Obviously all the uh, ignition surround, leave the ignition barrel, take off the indicator stalks, be careful about the little Phillips uh, on here. These usually are cracked, this one is no different. You can just sort of uh, glue them in place and just keep them from moving. Um, little tray has to come out and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six down here. Down Same on the other side. Uh, and the dash should come out now it is a little bit difficult on a tdci because uh the lip on the on the box here um on the on the gear selector tunnel will try and catch the bottom of the dash you've got to almost roll it forwards and over to get the dash out of the way uh, and then we'll, pre we'll be presented with all the heater tubes which every single one has to come off um, and then we can basically get to the wiper motor itself remove the motor each tube and the actual um the worm gear the springy what's it called leon the spring thing that goes in, the rack tube. I don't know what you're correct, it's just cable. It's the cable, it? yes, cable, that's it, that operates the worm gears on the spindles. Take the spindles off, um, and then basically reassemble with all new bits, new grease, and it should be good to go. But let's find the problem first and get this dash out.
And there we go, relatively straightforward. However, this one's had a bit of aftermarket uh, wiring done. Some of it questionable. Um, and a lot of bits missing, it looks like. It looks like they used to have a subwoofer in here. Um, so we're gonna correct some of this wiring before we go ahead and throw the dash back in. But now we've got to remove um, all these heater tubes and pipes because you can see the, the actual wiper system is behind here and this is where the spindle is. So we've got to get all these heater pipes out of the way, all of this out of the way so that we can actually get to the, um, the tubing, get to each spindle, dismantle it, and then we can change them over. Um, and I assume that this worm gear here is worn out uh, and we'll see once they're removed. So here guys, you can see our faulty spindle, we assume. We're gonna take these off and have a look, but we're gonna pull it all out together. The tube, which the uh, cable runs through, into the passenger side spindle, and then finally into the motor. So we're gonna unplug uh, the motor itself. And this is also, um, if your wipers uh, aren't parking, so you basically stop your wipers and they end up in the middle of the screen wherever they want, uh, that is because of the park switch. And you can buy these little switches for about a fiver. Um, and obviously you wouldn't need to remove the full dash, you just need to drop it forward or go through the speaker hole. A little bit fiddy, but it is possible. Um, but I would say just drop the dash forward, pry it out to it there, and then change that motor there, uh, uh, sensor there, switch, whatever it is. Um, and your park, your wipers will park again. Uh, but it is always, to be fair, about 10 years old. The grease in these does tend to just kind of glue up. I'll show you the cable when we pull it out. Um, I assume the cable will almost looks smooth and the grease will be crumbly. Um, just where obviously this is going through and through working, as will the cam um, cam gear inside the wiper motor. So we strip it all, freshen it all up, put all the parts and grease it all up, put it all back together, and we should have our wiper system working perfectly. motor assembly, the wiper tubes, and obviously our two spindles. Now this is the driver side, which we believe to be at fault. Um, we can already see um, like a, a mucky build up here of all the old grease. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is slacken off these two eight mils on both of them. That will be able to, you know, separate the worm gear from the cable and we can have a good look at this assembly. And then we're also gonna basically take off the cover uh, to actually get the cable free, replace the cable, grease it all up, start again with some new spindles, put it back together and we should have a fully functioning wiper system.
by saying how ill the Coronation Street tune theme tune makes me sound. Uh, makes me feel. Really? What? Oh, it's, it's just super depressing. It's just awful. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it makes me feel ill. <laughs> I don't know why. Drop a comment if you guys feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a quick tip. Actually, me and Leon are just talking about. Uh, don't, don't, um, don't do up that that tube. Don't do up these. Leave everything loose. Obviously, nip them up slightly, but you want because this this uh, pipe has a slight bend in it. So you want to make sure um, when you offer everything up, everything has enough slack to find its position. Then you tighten everything up. Test the operation before what whilst the dash is all out still. Um, just make sure that everything is correct. And obviously, then um, you can reinstall the dash once everything works. But if you are to tighten this all now, um, you might have that tube that bends slightly around the wrong way and you won't know until you put everything together um, and try and st uh, try and actually operate it and the motor might be locked up because you could have actually pinched the cable or something like that. So just make sure you leave everything loose. Remember what we said in the video? What? Before you bolt the dash in, make sure you test it. <laughs> we haven't tested it yet, we've bolted the dash in. Well, this is the proof's in the pudding now, isn't it? Turn your heat, turn your thing on. Are we ready? Hey, of course it works. Get a bit of squirt. 
God, that is shocking, isn't it? Whoa! Do that again. Woohoo! Okay, so we need some adjustment, but that's definitely more powerful. Uh, now this one's a leak, and this one's a crack uh, through that little piece there. Uh, luckily, I mean, this is quite a common problem. Sometimes they actually fire off the bonnet and they sort of, they sort of come in with a jet squirting over the other end, but um, that certainly made a massive improvement by replacing this. Um, but yeah, we'll just finish off tidying up the dash, and this repair job is fully complete. Okay, and test with the new washer jet. Now that we've adjusted it, filled the screen wash. That's much better. Look at that, much more pressure. Wipers actually operational. Brand new Bosch wipers, brand new cable, brand new spindles, full speed. Very nicely parked. Dash is all back together like nothing ever happened. Of course, we'll give it a nice quick hoover before handing it over to the customer. Guys, that is our Defender fully repaired. We fitted two new spindles, a full cable, re-greased the whole assembly, and even tidied up some wiring. Now guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please do remember to subscribe. Don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. Leave a comment, and we'll see you guys for the next video.